Okay, today is Thursday, January 16, 2014, and I'm waiting for the bus to head down to City Hall to once again go to the clerk of the board's office to speak to, I guess, Mr. Young, the person from the uh, Sunshine Task Force that if you looked at the prior videos, you will note where I went in and spoke to him before and informed him naturally of the failing procedures and everything else. Well, uh, on the 8th, Mr. Young had basically written me back and told me that, you know, he was, I guess, apparently trying to schedule the complaints that I had, the uh, immediate disclosure request that went unfulfilled by the Department of Public Health and the San Francisco Police Department. Uh, it was dated, let's see if I can find the date for you. Uh, Hold on, I'm still looking. Uh, here we go. It was dated... Oops, wrong page. Uh, he wrote to me on 1-8, and um, I basically wrote back to him, I believe it was on the same day, stating, uh, Dear Mr. Young, Thank you for our earlier conversation in regard to the matters that I'm bringing forward, such as the IDR and hearing request to Sunshine that was not uh, properly processed properly, timely, or in any fashion. As I told you, I appeared on 11-6-13 uh, at the Sunshine to inform and question the follow and follow-up and videotape uh, the, the non-responses. This was the videotapes, if you go back and look at the Ministry of Sunshine videotapes, 11-6-13. Um, 13, you'll see where, you know, I went in and, and told them, you know, during the public comment, I believe, that, you know, I had mailed in IDRs, requested hearings, never been acknowledged as to receipt of my emails, etc., etc. Uh, continuing with Mr. Young in this email, please be aware that I am, as I have before, questioning the incorrect procedure, the lack of proper follow-up, the non-acknowledgement of receipt of emails as specifically requested, and what about the 45-day rule? Uh, and then I sent him what he requested for me on the 8th, which was, you know, uh, the, the backup paperwork that I had been sending in so that, you know, he could verify. Then, um, after I did that, I wrote him on the 12th and said, uh, Dear Mr. Young, thank you for your kind note. However, I am in addition following up to the correct and unaccountable procedure. While I am glad that my hearing requests are finally being handled, it does not explain the delay, the harm, the insincerity at the November 2013 task force meeting where I brought these and other issues up. I have the YouTube videos and only after my repeated follow-up is this even being addressed. What about the 45-day time limit and how do these failures address the critical issue of justice delayed is justice denied? Please realize that this is not the first time that this incorrect procedure has been used. Please note that I have the prior paperwork to the SOFT attorney when this happened in the past before. In addition, please realize that I want my hearing to involve official misconduct charges so that upon a correct finding by the, the SOTF, the, uh, the complaints can proceed to ethics. Please note in addition that I want my hearings to be before the full board and nothing less which would subject me to a violation of due process as I have stated before here at the SF. TF and have the paperwork and audio tapes to prove it. In addition, I have never received an explanation as to why during the Sunshine Task Force nuclear winter, several of my IDRs and hearing requests were never followed up upon. I want this explanation for complete and total sunshine to expose the methodology of SOTF and how it has or has not changed. Again, please be aware that my hearings must be before the full board, otherwise it is rigged, if non-present members have votes that apply against me. Um, P.S. Since the delay of correct process, I have been arrested and followed up, and since I did not have what I requested timely, uh, you know, the IDRs that I had sent in, I was further injured and will point out the harm and damages to the Sunshine Task Force and point out how the silence and non-response added. So... Uh, at that particular point, you know, I put him on notice and asked specific questions in regard to their, you know, policies, you know, being blown off uh, 11, 
you know, in November 2013 at their Sunshine Task Force and not responded to, uh, you know, the 45-day rule, everything else. So uh, Mr. Young responds to me uh, quite cleverly and says, you know, uh, well, here are uh, the... Um, the complaint numbers that I have for you on Wednesday, January 15th, and he, you know, tries to, you know, rope a dope them into two complaint numbers, and I basically write back to him and state, you know, the same day, uh, Mr. Young, there are several issues which I wish to point out to you in your summaries and how I believe that they need to be divided, further explained and clarified. Luckily, we are in sunshine. I have two separate and distinct complaints against the SFPD. And I go on and I tell him about other things that have happened. And I continue to, you know, ask about, you know, the full board and the due process. And also, you know, that I wish to be informed as to, you know, why all this is happening now as opposed to when it should have been happening, you know, following up with the emails that I'd been sending in timely. And, of course, the non-receipt. Then um, I, I, I go ahead and, you know... A paragraph say, Mr. Young, in addition to your response, the questions I asked in my follow-up email to you dated 1-12-14 have not been answered. These are very important questions. They speak to reliability, conduct, accountability, hope, sunshine, honesty, transparency, purpose, result, etc. Please let me know when I can expect an answer. In addition, I do not want to belittle or belie the repeated emails sent to the task force, for I would hate for another individual to be subjected to the same and without a credible explanation, um, you know, as far as them not following up and the delay and, and the harm. I cannot in good conscience not bring forward uh, in sunshine, knowing that these failures have not been addressed, corrected, explained, and a verifiable system has been put into place that can be easily checked and verified. Please realize that this too is a summary and that we can arrange to meet and verify not only the contents but what the emails, etc. are in the SOTF's files for the task force to have before them in order to proceed. Again, I await the answers in a convenient time to schedule to come in and discuss and verify the videotapes and videotape the process.